<laughs> it's not getting much better, is it? <laughs> Did that help? <laughs> what about putting it in front of me? Naughty Meg. My name, my name is Peter Thornycroft. And what I do at the company is, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> You said to repeat things. Hi, I'm Peter Thornycroft and I'm uh, animator and rigger at Brace Stuff Games. Today we're going to be talking about animation and Phantom Brigade and uh, what I had for breakfast. What did you have for breakfast? Licorice. Because the wonderful person in charge of the camera brought me in a bag of licorice. So as a kid, I always, like as every other kid does, like loved animation, like cartoons and things. And I got like one of those little flip books. It was goofy, like I'd just eaten a pack of cards and was spitting them out. I can only remember it being curved because I used to just like flick it all the time. Growing up, you're kind of like told that you can't be an animator. So I went to do engineering at uni for about a year and I was like, this is rubbish. Uh, and then just, just did cartoons, like in my spare time. So I was like, oh, I should do this as a course. I was like, don't be silly. You can't do animation as a course. Um, and so yeah, I did that. I've been really fortunate where I've done a lot of contracts and moved around from a lot of jobs, which, which I've seen as like beneficial because I've been able to work on such a variety of stuff. <laughs> Abney and Teal, it was just a kid's show, but it was like, it was the most removed from realistic animation, that, which is what I do now. <laughs> you know, I'm just going for very expressive poses, and very snappy timing. Then you come to the realistic stuff and that's got its own set of stuff that I, I, I really love. When I worked at uh, Coalition, worked on um, the latest Gears of War, Gears of War 5. I worked on the Queen Rainer battle sequence. I really enjoy getting a very realistic, believable motion of a creature that just doesn't exist. Because like, there you're coming from a different perspective of creativity rather than it being like all expressive and stuff. You're now going for like creative solutions and imagination on how something will move. friend contacted me asking if I was available to work on a trailer for Phantom Brigade. I was like, yes, definitely. It just sounded awesome. Like, mechs just fighting. It sounds great. <laughs> so I was like, uh, yeah, I'm on board. So I did this contract and animated the girl throughout all of it and the pilot. I really liked doing facial animation. That was really cool to get a chance to do that. And pretty brutal seeing the girl coming off the bike. Because it was such a tight time frame, I had to get like sign off on reference before I'd like even attempt to block anything. Because if I blocked something and I went the wrong way too far, that's loads of time wasted. So I tried to stitch together a very like precise edit of all my reference material. Recently, I've been working on the crawler. So we have this crawler base that drives around it. Overwhelm section of the game. It's like a living, breathing thing, so I need to put like NPCs in there to try and like bring it to life. So we wanted to get as many humans in there as possible. You need so many, it's kind of difficult to do that as, as one animator, so I've had to take a lot of cheeky little shortcuts. We're using motion capture in some sense. It's not marker mocap, it's markerless mocap. We're using a software called iPySoft um, and two Xbox One cameras. We're struggling on capture volume, which is like the amount of space you have to do your performances in. It's about seven foot by five foot area, so you can't do any locomotion, and we definitely don't have like stories where I can climb up ladders and capture it. With the Xbox One cameras, it runs off the depth sensors and it triangulates all those and tries to create a 3D mesh of what it can see and it tries to do a best fit skeleton within there and that's, that's how you get all your, your movement. When I did my first captures, I was wearing like just normal clothing, but it was a little bit too loose, so the day was coming in kind of noisy. Um, so to cut down on that, I did it all naked. No, I didn't. <laughs> I just ended up having to wear like leotard and like really tight lycra top. So those videos will get burnt uh, and just deleted. Uh, I'm gonna have to burn the whole house down actually uh, to make sure they never come out again. <laughs> 
this iPi soft captures like it gives good enough like poses and timing I can go in and quickly chuck in lots of unique moments and then I can concentrate more on like what the performance is as long as you're getting to tell the story it doesn't matter what tool you use to get there it's not just about making these beautiful frames it's about like those frames are a way to get to a bigger picture which is the whole narrative the whole story that you're trying to tell There are so many states that you can be in with the locomotion. Mainly it's running and sliding and facing in lots of different directions. There's so many possibilities that instead of doing like a traditional state to state, I created like nested blend states. So like normally you'd have like two separate blend states and then you'd blend in between the two. But what I did was I created one blend state, which is for a general like locomotion and then within each one of those and have like forwards, backwards, left, right, behind that 45, 45, 45, 45, 45. That would contain another blend state within there that I would be able to blend between running and sliding. And being able to have that control meant that we were able to get more seamless blending. It makes it a lot easier to manage and to iterate on. There's also all the different weapon loadouts and stuff, so you will have like animation layers um, with masks based on like whether they've got a left a weapon in the left arm or they've got dual wielding or a shield or whatnot. Oh yeah, it's mad. You have to be a nutter to be in it. It's like that episode of Heroes where he's trying to like find out on that time continuum. He's got those bits of string all around in the office. It's basically my animator graph. We think it's coming up through you. Melee! Mate, I can't wait! We're gonna do melee! That's gonna be loads of fun. And then facial animation, gotta do the pilots. So we're doing, we're using facewear for facial animations, which I really can't wait to do. I really, I really enjoy using facewear. Cinematics. All of the cinematics. Can't wait, that's gonna be cool. Loads of fun stuff. That's what I love about this job. I think this is like my dream. I get to do animation, I get to rig, I get to problem solve. It's a pipeline that I've created, so I know how it all works. I create all the tools. And basically I'm just greedy, para-crazed, greedy monkey. Um, <laughs> but it's great, I love it, yeah. Do have any last words? Merry Christmas. <laughs> and happy new year. <laughs> <laughs> No, thank you! Are my teeth black from the licorice? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>